Hello everybody, my name is Tom and welcome to welcome back to my channel. We are back with episode 6 of Vox Machina, um, Spark of Rebellion. Uh, last episode 5 ending was very foreboding. I feel like what the next, like the these last episodes are going to be like. Um, especially in Whitestone, we had the villagers who were like, who came into the castle at the request of uh, um, Silas, um, like, and his wife, whose name I cannot remember again because I'm terrible with names, but, uh, and they were, and they dressed him up as Vox Machina and hung up up on this, like, sacred tree that's, like, a important part of, uh, like, Percy's, like, you know, basically the home part, part of, like, a white stone, like, this, like, sacred tree, and they hung him up on there. And obviously they, you know, it's, like, psychological warfare, like, they pretty sure they did their research and knew how much this like tree meant to him and like this people his village and he has been back since and they know that so they left him like some they left him literally just like you know really like you know often something kind of gruesome basically telling them like this is what's gonna happen to you or, or like basically just kind of like they're threatening him you know what i'm saying um but yeah that's just like they're really playing on that guerrilla warfare tactics for sure and it's just it's crazy so anyways let's just get into this so without further ado let's get into this video then we need to make our next move count gather every able-bodied fighter in whitestone this is like a secret rebellion that's not so secret anymore it looks like they have us yeah you guys better run Oh, no, no, no. Bob and weave, bob and weave. Serpentine, serpentine. You're a tenacious little tick, Archibald. And he just looks like a thumb. Like a rotten thumb, dude. Are you crazy? Out of the streets! Hide! We gotta move! Can these giants just patrol the streets and just kill anybody that comes in? Tell me, let's keep a Yenin still alive. Why do you want to know? If you want change here, Yenin is the only one who can help bring it. This is a... I know it's a dumb question, but I'm still gonna ask it anyways, because maybe there's like a certain explanation for it, but why do they still stay there? Like, I know it's like not easy, like, oh my god, just up and move. Yeah, if some place is bad, just move forward. Like, you know, like, I, like, I know that's not the case, but I don't know if like the reason that they still stay there is because of like, they literally like can't go anywhere else. Keep um, Yenin. Tell my me, what looks so creepy. The, <gasps> of it looks exactly like the mask. They don't attend my oh, service. Oh, that is some foreshadowing right there. That looks like the mask. It's you. Oh, but you're not the same. Little Percival. So I'm wondering if there's like there's a particular reason, like show wise, D D wise, like why like why they're like staying yours just because like, you know, like this is their home, they're you know, they're not leaving. Uh, is it for like nationalistic purposes or, you know, like, like I said, like they obviously, I mean, they, don't, you know, they can't just up and leave. This is their home. They have nowhere to go. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that makes sense. A giant death or something? No. That was a pretty loud whistle. <laughs> An old resistance hideout. We can speak freely here. <laughs> oh my gosh, he really wants ale. And the resistance isn't strong enough because their leader has been captured. Ah, there it is. <laughs> I love those two. Oh my god, I love the siblings. One time, Archie and I Roots of the Sundry. What oh, does that mean? Can't you do something about the tree? <gasps> Wait a second. Is there a particular reason that they destroy the Sundry? You can't take the Briar Woods alone. Free Archie, and the resistance will follow. <laughs> grog, grog, grog. I know it's plot, but grog, please let her touch the tree. Never lied. What the hell hear is she? Me. Please hear me. Ooh. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. <laughs> what was that? You're saying it's not a curse? She's doing it to herself? Me? Interesting. I wonder what could be blocking her though, because I feel like I haven't really seen much 
she doesn't really have much conflict now like with herself so i'm curious to see like what's the, uh, the reason because i honestly can't think of any reason why or why her why it'd be subconsciously blocking her why she's subconsciously blocking her powers you're not very good at this <laughs> if you won't take me seriously ew nasty because you'll find the alternative to be most disagreeable <laughs> I hope he's strong-willed. Is being held here. Okay, so here's my idea how to bust Archie out. I'll speak to the local animals. Vex is gonna punch her. You think mm -hmm. too much. All we're gonna do is kill everyone and leave. Exactly, Grog. Uh, I love them. And get out. Strike like a well-thrown dagger. I can get behind that. They didn't really do well for organized or plans. I may have something that can assist. Gotta hurry up, because I feel like this man is not gonna last long. As I have but the one question. Where is Fox Machina? Hey, why would he know that? Wait, why would he know? Hey, why would he know that? They just got into town. Oh! Other, wow, man's got skills. Uh, what is that thing? This? No, oh, nothing but bad news. I'm really curious what happened to Percy after he left, after he like escaped, because clearly he went somewhere, did something, grouped up with somebody, and he was either taught these skills or he learned them. Almost. Damn. I've almost got shit. Oh wait, I've got an toxic fuck. Oh my gosh, the doors. The door. I was like, what is, I was like what are they doing? And I was like, oh wait, it's the door thing. It's the freaking door thing. I can't believe they're Oh uh, yeah, you know what? We can't just leave them. Fine. Oh my gosh. There's no way. Oh, <gasps> He just sliced his hand. It's not a door. It's a thing of evil. Are you guys serious right now? I know a door is a thing. I know it's a thing. I know it's a thing. Someone commented on the last episode. So what do we do now? Oh my god. Oh! 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 Oh my god, that's nasty. That's so nasty. Archie. Vax, get him out of there. They can't. It's a door. Another door, right? Oh. Dad, I'm telling you, that back door was cursed. Oh, wait. Shit. Oh, I guess technically it isn't a door. Eh? It is a door, though. I don't know how this door thing works. I'll give you this, girly. You'll at least die together. <laughs> Wait, how did they get him? What the heck? What's a guy got to do to get some action around here? Scanlan? Oh, he tricked them. Oh, that was that was that was really good. Yeah, he's got some tricks up his sleeve. Oh no. Ooh. Let's go, Keila. Let's go, Keila. Rip this thumb guy apart. There are gods everywhere! Percy, let me go. What are you doing? Just like the old days. Creating a diversion. The whole point was to rescue you. Uh, you can't die. Oh my god, it's the first time he shot his gun, actually. I just realized that. Between the bars, person. Between the bars. Lay up the shot. Between the bars. <gasps> Wait. Huh? What does that mean? Oh, he's go he's going back for that guy. He went back to. He going back to line up those shots, buddy. Oh. Whoa! Where did? The mask come from it just appears, I guess. He doesn't actually need to put it on. Oh no. Let me say 
You were the one I was least looking forward to. Fuck off! <laughs> kind of makes it even more sad. Dodge. Cold stone killer, dude. Oh wait, he's not dead. I wanted you to know it was me. What the fuck are you doing? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my, my gosh. And no one will stand in my way. But Percy. Percy. You are not the last to Romo. Wait, she does? Wait, she lives? <laughs> Bro, what is going on with Percy? I have a sister. Oh, I'm really happy for him though. At least he found out that his sister is still alive, wherever she is. I'm sure you've heard about your brother. But this changes nothing. Oh no, she's in their clutches. If not in their control, she might be like being controlled by them. Not Delilah though, because Delilah doesn't have the ability, right? At least I don't think so. She's not a vampire. They're doing one episode. Per You're doing one episode at a time though. It's kind of, kind of sucky because I'm like I'm look always going to force the next episode because you always want. I always want to know what happens next. But yeah, that we saw Percy. I know somebody in my comments episode four, five, four. Three? Four? I think it was four. No, it was four. I mentioned No Mercy Percy. Uh, I don't know what No Mercy Percy is, but I'm pretty sure I think that's what we're starting to see is the No where the No Mercy Perso No No Mercy Percy title is coming from. He went like he he didn't even he didn't even kill him slow. He blew off bits of pieces like chunks of his flesh. He died painfully. And honestly though, like I'm I'm all here for it. You know what I'm saying? Like I these are people who like murdered his family. Though he I think whatever is taking control of him is like taking control of him. So I feel like he's not really himself. Because obviously like he pulled the gun on uh Vax. Um at the same time, like Vax kind of popped out of nowhere, but like, you know what I'm saying? But like, um, still, like, I, I feel like he, there's something that is kind of controlling him and I feel like he it might end up retaliating onto his friends. I feel like he might end up losing control as he goes down this vengeance, uh, uh, cycle, you know, like, you know, is he going through to avenge all of, you know, basically all, to kill all the killers, you know, and avenge his family. And also it's interesting. His gun has all of the names of the people he wants to kill outlined. It it reminds me of um it actually reminds me of uh, Hunter Hunter with um Kilua with the chains and he put conditions on the chains. Uh spoiler alert if you haven't seen Hunter Hunter, um but he has these chains and he put conditions on the chains. So the chains were like, they weren't like, um, they seemed overpowered. Um, like the chains seemed very like OP, but they really weren't OP because the chains had conditions on it where it can only use it on certain people, which was the fan troop who killed his, uh, his, uh, his family, his whole entire tribe. It's basically kind of similar to this. So, and those chains only worked on the Phantom Troop, and they're basically like unbreakable. They're actually unbreakable chains, which you would think is impossible, but it's not possible if you have certain conditions. So if he ever used, he had like a bunch of other conditions, but basically the main one is that if he ever used the chain on anybody else but the Phantom Troop, he would die. Like he would insta dead. So he can't use the chain on anybody else. These are super OP chains. They're only used on the Phantom Troop. Phantom Troop can't get out of it or anything like that. Like once they're in the chains, that's it. They're done. Like they literally can't escape. Like it's literally like OP chains, but you know, in a sense, they're I guess only OP to like a certain group. 
but it reminds me of this. Like, so that, the, the gun reminded me of that, actually. And I feel like, I wonder if it works in a similar way to where, like, this gun is, like, it, it turned, like, extra powerful. It's extra powerful, like, when used in a certain condition. And that condition being when used on the target that is written on the actual, like, barrel, like, barrel of the gun. Which is very, very interesting. So I'm wondering how that's going to play a part in when it comes to Delilah, Silas, and all, all of the rest of them, because you know, Delilah and Cyrus, Silas are not no regular, regular human beings, you know? I'm wondering if that's going to have uh, an effect or not. Um, and we did see, though, it's interesting, though, in episode four, when they were fighting, we didn't, they were there. I feel like the, maybe, the it wasn't really like you, like, we didn't see that, like, power come in in that moment. And I'm wondering if it's because the conditions weren't met, or maybe it's kind of guard, or maybe it just wasn't like, you know, this is like a new thing, it didn't really have time to form or whatever, and, I, and maybe because now he's in Whitestone, now all these things are coming back um, to the surface, and now he's more like, uh, you know, angry, pissed off, and he's like remembering all the torture and, uh, you know, tragic things that happened to him, so I'm curious how the rest of the season will go. But plus, he, but he did find out he has a sister though. I feel like that lifts up some of that release, that vengeance. So I'm wondering if the father of his sister is going to be helpful to him in whatever power that he has right now, into the power having less control over him, or it's going to hinder him as in if something were to happen to his sister or to, or to betray him or some, something like that, because it seems to be kind of in the control of the uh, Briarwoods. So interesting to see whether uh, that aspect is going to hinder him and make him go further and further into whatever this darkness is. So I'm really intrigued to see what's gonna happen in episode 7 and the rest of the season. So, um, so, um, let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. I know I just spewed a whole bunch of stuff. I usually leave all my thoughts to the very end as you, if you, um, are new here, um, I leave all of my, like, my more critical thoughts at the very end because it's kind of hard to like really i never pause the video like i literally just never pause the video anymore so it's like it's uh i, I kind of just talk over it so um it's kind of hard to like really have a full-on discussion without um pausing it i don't want to pause though because if i pause in the middle of it then I'm, i don't want to have like a whole entire middle section where i'm literally just talking for like five minutes in between like a scene so yeah that's why i don't pause and kind of work myself to like consolidate my thoughts and kind of or like kind of talk them in short bullet points while I'm reacting to it. That way it's like a more enjoyable experience. But anyways, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, again, this is like pre-recorded. So um, the same day as episode five. So like I said, any misinformation, misconceptions that I may have, comment it down below. I'm just not going to be able to acknowledge them or see them well not, not acknowledge them as in but like i'm not gonna be able to like update my thoughts and opinions in these reactions until episode eight um so yeah keep that in mind so if i'm repeating the same thoughts and you guys are saying oh yeah this is you know it's wrong or whatever that's because you know these are all pre-recorded so um yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys think in the comments down below don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and turn on post notifications for an new video and follow me on my social to see more of my face and that's gonna be it for today's video we're gonna see you next time bye